You must feel the same way I do when you're around cats that just don't get it. They, For some reason, they think we evolved. We came from monkeys that came from rocks that came from some, like, soup back millions and millions of years ago. And to me, like, I, I, would, I would feel so naive and dumb to think that how amazing our creation is wasn't created. I, I think that you right. probably feel the same way because there's a lot of those tones in this new album called This Side of the Sky. Yeah, absolutely, man. I definitely feel the same way. It, it baffles me. What are some of your influences right now? Uh, man, I mean, you know, I, uh, a lot of the old, the old greats, man. Um, just on the you know, science side, I would say, you know, Albert Einstein, you know, has, has always fascinated me, um, and you know, he's always been one that that has really kind of talked on both sides of science and. Um, you know, and, and and I guess you could say religion, just belief, you know, and uh, proof of God, and um, it takes a lot, I think, to be in that field and you know, know kind of see where things are going and see what people are, you know, turning towards or trying to kind of erase evidence of God, you know, in their own way, and uh, so that that's a big one. Albert Einstein, um, you know, uh, I think other ones is a. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's some that aren't even Christians. I mean, Paul Davies, uh, he's a guy who said, you know, it, it may seem bizarre, but in my opinion, science offers a sure path to God than religion. Yeah, yeah. Um, You know, that's, it's a crazy statement, but, and he's not very, you know, like this guy that everybody knows to be so religious or anything, but it just, it kind of shows that you're not afraid to, to say what's what's real and what's, you know, what you see as a scientist and, uh, or, you know, a physicist in, in, in his, uh, in his, like, another one, I mean, something recent, um, Stephen Meyer, I mean, doing oh, incredible work. Yes. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, the, the Discovery Institute in general, they're just doing some incredible work, um, you know, and I guess, yeah, I mean, let's let's play some clips from... Yeah, you, uh, you sent me some clips from this dude earlier this week, and I was like, dang, those are the kind of clips where you're like, bam, check that out. Bam, check that out. Yeah, yeah I, I have those clips. Let's, let's check out some Stephen Meyer right now. Yeah. Uh, what we now see today inside the cell is vastly more complex than any, anything anyone had any inkling of at the time that Darwin wrote The Origin of Species. The most ardent defender of evolutionary orthodoxy in the world, Richard Dawkins, has candidly admitted that no one knows how life first arose. The central feature of life that looks designed is the presence of information inside the cell. In fact, the only cause ever known to produce information is, is mind or intelligence. And one of the typical signatures of intelligence is information. There's some really human reasons to want to know if there is a mind or a purpose behind life. Absolutely love Stephen Meyer. I mean, those those are the those are the type of things that geek me out, bro. Yeah, dude, me too, man. Another point on on Stephen Meyer is he you know he has a new book called Darwin's Doubt, which is you know huge bestseller and everything else. Um, but uh, one of the coolest things about it is that he's he's kind of coming from an uh, well, he opens up the book coming from a point of talking about Darwin's own doubt. You know, I mean, you see all these, you know, you see the Darwin fish on cars and people, you know, kind of yeah. mocking Christianity yeah. and saying, you know, Darwinism is what it is. Darwin himself, you know, I don't even know if people really realize how much he doubted his own, parts of his own theory. He saw huge gaps and holes in his own theory. And Stephen Meyer goes in, you know, kind of deep in the book about this. It's a very deep book and I haven't even gotten, you know, a, a, a hundreds of the way through. But, um, he, you know, he kind of starts out going, going in it and talking a little bit about, um, you know, how, how Darwin kind of doubted a lot of this stuff. And, um, some major key elements like how, you know, how fossils, um, you know, in the fossil record, we have fossils that are incredibly, you know, uh, intricate and designed, you know, way further along than other little fossils that weren't. And you look at that and you say, if those are in the same level, and it, it just kind of debunks the whole entire, you know, how long it takes for evolution to to, to be where it is, if that's what we say we believe. So. You know, it's it's a matter of common sense to me, man. I wish we had a whole hour to talk to you about this and to play music from the album. Of course, you get into it in a song called I Believe, which was a big pop song on Christian radio over the summer. Uh, that's an incredible song. If you're listening to this, you definitely got to go check that out when the album comes out. This Tuesday, October 7th, it's yeah. called This Side of the Sky. We're talking to Jacob. And you got another incredible song on the album coming out called Letting Go. Talk to me about this track. Yeah. Yeah, that one um, definitely, um, you know, kind of ties in. You were asking about my son earlier. That definitely ties in and is, is a lot more personal. It's probably my most personal song that I've ever done. Um, and it, it really talks about my family, my, my wife and my son, and how um, the whole concept and theme of letting go is, you know, I was very, it's a very personal, transparent song. I was very afraid 
um, to, to, to get married. You know, I mean, I, I and a lot of it had to do with just uh, nothing about, you know, uh, wanting to play the field or not knowing if she's the right one. None of that, man. It, it literally <laughs> only had to do with realizing that life, you know, is one big act of letting go. And, and that's kind of uh, amplified in this song and in the, in the hook and stuff. And just just that sadness. I, I, I think I, I'm a very moody person, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I get, I, get real, I get real sad over little things. And, yeah. so I, you know, it was something that was very hard for me to, to look at. Get falling in love, you know, and um, having a family, doing all this stuff, and then like somebody dying or passing away or having to let go. Even though we know as Christians, you know what what all that means, it's still it's a very hard thing for me to get over as a human. So uh, this song is about me kind of getting over those things and bringing new life into the world. Um, through it all, so, yeah. one, one of the biggest things that I like about you, Jacob, is that you're a passionate guy, and your passion is always shining through, and you can definitely hear your passion in this song. There's a video that goes along with it. You can check it out right now at jamthehype.com. This is Jacob off the album coming out this Tuesday called This Side of the Sky. It's called Letting Go on Jam the Hype Live. I used to be afraid to fall in love. Fall in love. I knew that one day I would be forced to let it go I knew that we would fall head over heels And my heart that girl was still And then one have to watch the other go When we grow old